Good morning everyone. Hope everyone is having a good week. As good as we all can, right? We try our best. Lots of things going on. Um, I'm still trying to edit that video from what, two weeks ago? But I wanted to get this out. This is more important. This is a warning for not only JW parents in Alabama, the state of Alabama here in the United States, but also for the surrounding communities because this affects them as well. Um, and I'm not going to mention who sent the SJW that sent me this. Thank you very much. I want to appreciate everything you are doing. And um, I know you're an abuse survivor yourself, and that's why you care so much for the children. So we appreciate all your hard work, and thanks for letting me know and for letting me get this information out. Um, I'm not going to be mentioning any perpetrators by name because it's an ongoing investigation. But I'm going to read the email here that I received. Um, not too long ago, a contact from Alabama contacted me and told me about a little girl getting molested by her uncle in Grove Hill, Grove Hill, Alabama. The whole family is JWs with grandma and the girl's parents and aunts and congregation knowing but refusing to go to the police. Wow. Now I just want to mention that Watchtower in the, you know, IICSA, you know, the UK Commission and in the Australian Commission are claiming they are not liable because this is family. You know, this is going on in families, so they're not liable. But I just want to say, shame on you, you're a bunch of liars. Because you don't report this to the authorities. These elders did not report this to the authorities. You're trying to keep it quiet. So when they say, even in that Watchtower article, that they report these cases to the authorities and care about the children, the um, survivors, the victims. No, they're lying. They're doing the same old thing that they've always done in this case. I go on. Um, the elders did a judicial thing on the uncle and found him guilty of molesting her, but they are treating it like he cheated on his wife type of deal. Meanwhile, the girl is told to be quiet and the family is trying to keep things under wraps. Not anymore. Until this all blows over and people forget. No, we won't. So when this came to me, I went and got names and addresses and immediately contacted Child Protective Services, DHR, Grove Hill Police and did one better, reported it to ICE for possible child trafficking since the watcher is involved with its pedo database. See, and that's the thing. Two witness rule, two witness rule and New York Police Department have been suspecting an international missionary child porn ring for decades. In any case, CPS got back to me. Two sergeants from the police department have talked to me today, and I spoke with a special agent from Homeland Security slash ICE. Awesome job. Here's what's going on. The Grove Hill police sergeant has told me that they have a strong case against him, and they are working on an indictment. He is not anyone new to them, so he has a history. How long have the elders known about this? So when Paul Gillies, the Watchtower, claims that this is a family thing and they're not responsible, yes, they are. As long as they are protecting these, you know, pervos and the elders keep quiet, they're all guilty. And I would love to see more elders charged in these cases, just like what happened in Crystal Lake, Illinois. You know, charge all of these elders for not reporting this to the authorities. <sighs> I 
I got word from a distant relative of the family that the girl's parents actually reported it to CPS at the first and then changed their mind and refused to answer their phone calls and visits. Guess, I can pretty much guess who is influencing them to do this. You know, and this is really sad, but you know, maybe some of these parents should start being charged with refusing to report their children's abuse. Just my personal view, because this makes me so angry. Guess the elders did their wait on Jehovah thing. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. I reported it on the 10th of December, and when the CPS worker called back the next day, they didn't have any address on the girl's location. I had her parents' name, the perp's name. A few hours later, someone else called in the address. So there may be some JW members secretly calling things in. Awesome. Awesome. I am so proud of these JWs who are not listening to the elders and Watchtower and reporting these cases. And the thing is, is the minute... Watchtower put in their, you know, uh, study Watchtower article a few years ago that they report these cases to the authorities and the JW say, oh, well, yeah, see, we're reporting these to the authorities. So Watchtower basically pfft, their own throats. Good, good. You know, I'm so proud of these JWs for standing up. I suspect that the little girl isn't the only one, nor the first. You know how it goes. Well, if the police sergeant says the perp is known to them, then obviously he's done this before. In any case, please keep this little girl and any other children there in your thoughts and prayers if you can. And that's what I'm asking. You know, there's not much else the rest of us can do except keep the kids in your thoughts and prayers and that is who is more important are the kids maybe you can ask your viewers to also keep this girl and other children abused in her thoughts and prayers to help police child services and ice hold the abusers including watchtower accountable I've been sick to know this is happening to another child and possibly more and so let's get the warning out also Thank you both for the wonderful card, because I sent him a Christmas card. And um, so I had asked him if I could mention any of this in a video, and this is the response I got. Um, yes, you can mention whatever you want. The town is a super small town of approximately 1,500 people in Grove Hill, Alabama, and their Kingdom Hall is in Jackson, Alabama. So it is the Grove Hill in Jackson, Alabama area. These are small towns where everyone knows everyone and everything about each other. So yes, please do not do warn people if you can. There may be more people involved and I'm working with the police and Homeland Security to get more information. They already said they have a solid case, but every little bit will help. If any of your viewers know anything, they are encouraged to please come forward and contact the Grove Hill Police Department or I would imagine anyone in you know any police department in that area um, but since the you know Grove Hill Police Department is handling this you know contact them with your information um, and if you absolutely have to be anonymous you know please do what you can to be anonymous and if for some reason you cannot contact them you can forward any information to us at kimmybrooks at gmail.com and I will forward it to the Grove Hill Police or our contact here because um, he will make sure it gets in the right hands. One of the sergeants is asking me to help him understand the JW structure and he doesn't want to go to the JWs for those answers of course because we know why. They're going to lie, 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 you know, theocratic warfare to protect their own asses. <sighs> 
So he's going to be in contact with the police sergeant to help him understand. And any information he needs as far as elders' manuals or elders' letters, I will be happy to help him with that. So um, there's also a few other things going on. Um, also some things non-JW related that are going on in this country. And I'm um, just going to mention just a quick few things. We all know that the federal government was hacked into. And I'm going to put the press release down below from several federal agencies on that. And um, I just want to mention that, you know, there's a lot of hoopla about the president-elect. I just want to say, for those of us who have any knowledge of the Constitution and how things work, that it is not a certified done deal until January 6th. And if you think I am doing fake news or lying, go read it for yourself. It's not an official certified done deal until January. And also, I want to mention um, that my thoughts and prayers goes out to Tara Reed. Um, she was abused and attacked and molested. And she cannot get the media to cover it here in the United States. So she was on the Australian 60 Minutes, and I'm going to put the link down below to that. Um, it is interesting and you know it's sad it's sad that she couldn't get any media here in the United States to cover it and this is you know one of the deals that we're dealing with here in the United States as far as Watchtower and the child abuse problem is we're having a very difficult time getting any news media coverage on any of this you know no one wants to cover it here in the United States so, you know, it makes me wonder what the heck is going on and who is in control of the media here in the United States. Well, I have some pretty good ideas, but I'll leave it at that because, you know, we're careful what we say on our YouTube channels. And I want to thank everyone so much for all of the Christmas cards, the cards just for love and support, um, we want to thank everybody for your emails and phone calls and your love and support and it helps so much even just the emails you guys send us saying you know thank you for all the hard work and videos that helps so much and um, all of you are the reason we keep doing this and spending so much time energy and effort to keep bringing you you know the news um, as best you know we can and to our knowledge. So thank you everyone so much for watching and you all have a wonderful day. Bye.